a very good afternoon and welcome to AW Services. I'm Austin. So, just wanted to do a quick video on the Clark SP1200 SS pump that I re recently purchased. This is the 1200 watt stainless steel pump. I've had a few questions from guys soft washing, roof washing, wanting to know a bit more about the pump as they've previously purchased one and they're finding that the tap fittings are blowing off from the top of the pump due to the pressure build up when there is no demand for supply. So by simply adding a flow switch, I will say it's a flow switch and not a pressure switch, it works electromagnetically. So when the pump is charging, once the charge rate reaches its maximum pressure build up, the flow switch cuts off, if I'm correct in saying that. So it's a one inch BSP pressure switch. This one is made by the Katsu brand, exactly identical to the Clark Machine Mart's own brand at around £59. I picked up this one for £29.99. They're all the same. They're all made in China. Very good electronics. So all I've done to fit this particular model to the pump, you actually have to take the pump housing, the stainless steel body off by unbolting the Allen key bolts removing the pump housing stainless steel body use some ptfe tape and securely screw in the top of the flow switch itself on the top i have a hose lock style this one's made by gardenia brand and that's a standard hose lock quick connect fitting i have a water barrel in the background with 25 liters of mains fresh cold water i've turned the pump on the pump has run through its cycle. It's now charged the flow switch and it's automatically switched off the pump from running. So I have no excessive pressure buildup on the hose fittings. So if I grab my fireman style hose gun and I open the handle, I create a demand for flow and the switch opens. I turn the flow demand off, the pump charges, the flow switch will energise shortly to say that the flow and demand has been cut off and then the pump cuts off and I don't have any excessive pressure build up in the pump. So go through that again, open, create demand. A very good safety tip when any when using any electronic mains 220 volt pump is always to use an RCD to protect yourself against accidental electronic shock or death by having too much fun. So again, once more. This puts out about 65 PSI. As you can see the blades within the gun are swir swirling. We'll exhaust our supply of water, about one litre left. The pump is rated for continuous use, even dry. You can use various detergents and very soft base liquids other than water or water additives through this pump. However, they're not recommended to be used with caustic chemicals as the bronze bushing within the impeller will deteriorate and degrade quite rapidly. But that's an overview of the Clark SP 1200 SS water pump and the Katsu pressure control switch I've fitted to the top of it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for supporting AW Services. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell icon, 
and share with your friends. Watch out for more videos very shortly. Have a good afternoon. Thank you for watching.